Hey, welcome back to the channel. It's me, Engineer Hall. Today, we're going to take a look at a train show here in Stafford, New Jersey. We're going to uh, go inside and see what they got in the smaller train shows and uh, see what happens. See if we find anything good. You know, the whole point of the video of the channel is to show uh, what's available, what's out there, and uh, you might see something you like. So, uh, here we go. Let's take a look and uh, see if we get inside. Southern and today is May 1st, 2021, Amtrak's 50th anniversary and to celebrate I am running a Amtrak passenger train. We have a Kato at 40 pH with ESU load sound, two Kato Amfleet coaches, and two older Kato train set coaches. These are based on a Great Northern prototype. I'm Ed, I'm with New Jersey Southern and Scale. Um, we're out here in uh, Stafford today at a train show. We're running a bunch of trains for everybody. Our first show in a year. Uh, the, last, the last show we had prior to COVID was this show. So we're starting off now with it. Um, we're running a, a Kato U30C, an Atlas GP30, an Atlas GP35, and a string of merchandise cars. A little bit of everything for everybody. Kato is a custom paint from, a, from Al's custom trains from way back when. So we're having a good time today and enjoying every train that goes out. Now we're on Engineer Hall's channel today. That's even a better thing. <laughs> Thank you. How has model railroad changed the last couple of years in your opinion? I think it's gotten better um, because COVID has brought a lot of people back to model railroad you know it's, mm -hmm. it's a nice to see it i know the local shops are glad to see it they're busy as heck you know with both online orders and in store you know like a place like yankee dabber they're busy all day every day with, with orders so it's it's i think a lot more people are coming back to it you know? what is your uh, your favorite piece of equipment oh that's hard to do um i, I guess i guess anything mid 70s diesel you know, mm -hmm. late 60s or early 70s diesel. That's that's kind of my favorite niche. Probably a GP30 if I had to pick one, you know? Mm -hmm. Now, now, what is your most prized possession? Because everybody got that one piece that uh, you, you, you got to have, you would never get rid of it. Your one most prized possession. Probably a brass N5C Pensy Caboose. Ah. That's my one I wouldn't get rid of. And, and why you would never get, you, get rid of it? Why? Because uh, it was uh, my first piece of brass I ever bought. In, in, a, in a model train and um, the store I bought it from is no longer and you know it's just kind of like a little piece of history you know what is your favorite manufacturer uh, that's kind of hard because they're all so good right now you mm -hmm. know um, I'm gonna have to say Atlas 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 only because they're, they, they're still producing a lot more um, where I era the late 60s, 70s diesels, you know. Some of the other manufacturers don't focus in on that that era, and I, that's that's where, probably my favorite manufacturer because I can get from them, you know, what I need. Now, uh, what made you get into model rubber? Like, what happened? Um, did somebody went to a friend's house and saw a huge uh, uh, base for Empire, or did some dad put home in the box? Started home with dad. Started yeah. home with dad. Yep. Now, do you remember your first, uh, your, what was your first layout and what was on it? It's a home layout, it was an HO layout, two tracks, four by eight sheet, the uh, tacky car, you know, cardboard uh, red brick around it, you know. That was our home layout, you know. Oh, wow. Place for Paris and, and screen for tunnels, you know. It was, uh, it was fun, that's where I got started. Uh, what do you miss about having that uh, original layout or do you miss that at all? 
I don't think I miss it. I just the, and memory's just there still. So you know, you just you grow with it. You know, you take a little what you did when you were a kid, what you might have liked to do when you were modeling with your dad. You know, and then um, you just move it on to your kids. You know. Mm -hmm. Uh, and grandkids. I have, you know, grandsons that like trains too, so. Oh, it was a, a generational thing. They come around the house and they, they run trains at the home layout. But when they get a little older, we're going to build one. You we'll know? build one. When we we'll, get older? Yeah, yeah. Well, you got, you got like a, a track plan in mind? And, and... Just something simple. Probably like a door. You mm -hmm. know, a hollow core door layout for them. Just something simple. Maybe a couple tracks, you know. So it was a starter layout. Oh, cool. But that leaves them a little older. You know? A little older? Okay. I and understand. you want them to be able to solder, you know, teach them how to solder and wire. You know, you want them to just do that, not just run train. What is your favorite aspect of modeling? I'm, I'm going to have to say probably buildings and scenery right now is, is my niche. I'm, I'm happy. Happy is taking a month to put a building together, you mm. know, and then detailing it inside and out. You know, a lot of the kids don't come with in, in, internal details. So you, you work on four walls and just build details inside, you know, whether it be cash registers or people or shelves or something, you know, boxes, crates. Do you have uh, any uh, buildings here that you built? I do not. A uh, great thing because not a lot of people can um, scratch build buildings and stuff because me, I can't do it. I'll be like, uh, give me the kit and give me the directions. It is nice to kit bash and things. You, know, you get you get different things. And like I said, it could take me a month or more to do it. You know, I just sit down in the basement and I have a free time and just do a little bit, maybe do a little paint, do a little scenery, walk away from it, come back, add or add something to it, paint something. You know, it's fun. Wow, cool. Yeah. Well, I will well, thank you for uh, talking to me today about um, in scale or a model route rolling. Sure. And uh, once again, we'll, we'll see you again. Appreciate you coming out today. Uh, thank you.
so there we have it. You know, we saw the train show they have in the Stratford, New Jersey. It uh, happens uh, maybe once or twice a year, which is pretty cool uh, to get in and see the different uh, sellers and see people that you know in the model railroad community, which is pretty cool. Also, a shout out to the guys that uh, stopped and uh, we talk about their uh, model trains. Um, on the layout that you see there and other projects they got going on hopefully the audio came out good because it was loud inside the uh, auditorium but you know i don't know until we edited the video but um i also made purchases so let me show you what i got from the train show which i think i did pretty good on um with the stuff that i did get so here was the um major purchase i made at the train show here now these are uh, Walther TSX uh, Beth Gons uh, with loads. So pretty much I got a six pack here, a six pack and three pack. This is guys uh, was in pretty great condition here. As I said, it comes with loads here. Uh, none of the stirrups are broken off on none of the uh, cars, and you can see that is a, a Walther's under the wheel there. It's pretty cool. Only things wrong with these are the couplers. You can see the focus on it. That is uh, broken, so the knuckles did uh, break off, but that's fine with the uh, plastic ones. We have KDs to uh, replace those. Um, as I say, this is like the gray one here. Here is more like a, the metallic color. These are different ones. As I say, come with loads there. Metallic color. It's pretty cool. And also, we got the uh, black ones here with loads. So all these guys got loads. I can see inside. It's pretty cool. Nothing's broken stuff for the couplers a little messed up on some of them, but of course they always get replaced Also from the same guy that I bought now. I, I can't pass up a good deal This guy right here was uh, $15 uh, We know this is a, a older car. I believe this say is a, a roundhouse car uh, Because you look at the bottom here um, Look at roundhouse material and it come with a pipe load with a chain which is glued on and a strap so 15 bucks with a car and a load is not that bad and it's a good looking load there as you can see see that there and also this guy here another roundhouse flat car here and you can see that comes another load i believe this uh i want to say this re rebar uh uh sheeting uh, i might be wrong but you know, anyways, a uh, cool load. If you might notice, go ahead and write it down there in the description below, and I will uh, uh, take a look at it. So, two, two for these, two for thirty. That's the first one I got from them. I said, hey, you know what? What's up with those? They was going for uh, ten dollars a car, but of course, I got them a little bit cheaper. So, uh, that was the train haul from Stratford on May first. Once again, thank you guys for uh watching and subscribing and please uh subscribe to the channel and watch the videos all right so until again have a blessed day and i will see you on the flip side time's been moving slowly so we already in too deep can't get no sleep on each other carry Teasing all day and when the sun sets you at